We are live from a sunny, windy Grand Forks, North Dakota, the 17th annual John Sykes Memorial. Welcome to the One to Go Show. It is Bobby speaking. It is Steve-O. Uh, so we'll do a quick pre-race here. Uh, we were able to venture around the pits, got a little bit of information. Uh, some of you are asking, where's Ryan? Of course, Ryan, we spent the weekend together. You can look back last weekend, Labor Day shootout, Grand Rapids, Silver 1000. We spent some time. Hey, let's face it. He's given Brandon Shepard a little crap this year because Brandon's in love. He said he's not racist, much, not as dedicated. Like, we know another guy that's in love. So he's going to spend two weeks away uh, from Chicago. So, uh, hey, well, actually, in all seriousness, if you know Brenda, his girl, Ryan's making the right decision. I think Rudy and Sue would agree with that too. So uh, Ryan will not be with us, unfortunately, for the weekend. Uh, we love you, Ryan, so I have to give you a little shit there. Uh, big thank you, Dirt Track Supply, of course, longtime partner of the One to Go show, Trevor, in the show. In the show, starts 15th. Yep, so Trevor, Trevor Anderson, one of the proprietors here at Dirt Track Supply, so you need any racing supplies, wheels, batteries, fuel cells, everything. They've got it all, dirttracksupply.com, and hopefully we'll catch up with Trevor after the races tonight. All right, a little bit on the weather. I just mentioned it, a little bit breezy. Yeah, it's breezy here. Uh, sunny, a few clouds, but uh, this wind is gonna continue about 12 miles an hour all night out of the north, so it's gonna be cold. Um, feels all right now, it's probably mid 70s, but uh, I think they're below temp tonight, they're talking 52, which yeah, it's going to be chilly. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what the track will be like come future time, especially if they do some farming. I feel the moisture probably stay in the track just a little bit. All right, a few people, a uh, few notes and, and different things. Uh, Brandon Dillman, we were able to speak with him a little bit this morning. He mentioned in his, and we mentioned it in his post race interview last night that he went to college up here in Grand Forks for four years, ran into a massive if he was an engineer. Of course, dad builds, uh, you know, the, the B mods. Lates or he mods mods supers, but he is not an engineer. He's actually in the prosthetics game. I know a guy that's in prosthetics. We call him prosthetics doctor. I don't know if that's the case, um, but that's what he was doing up here. And he also let us know there will be a secret driver in the Zero Super Stock at the Wazota 100. So keep your eyes peeled there. All right, TPO rumor from Thursday night. If any of you watched the Thursday night, TPO was black flag in the Little Johnny, the Prelude. Um, what did we hear? Yeah, I hear he's not happy, and uh, he's not happy with the call between the contact with him and Demo. Well, we both watched it on the way up here. He hit him once, and then he hit him again, and spun Demo around. So, I mean, I'm a TPO fan, but I, I don't, I, I can't see why he's uh, he was unhappy with that call. Yeah, I was very surprised to hear uh, also. Um, said to me, looks like he hit him twice. Looks like he's much faster if he just waited a lap or two, probably could have uh, went. A little impatient. He could have waited. He blew her out uh, right around him later. But. Yeah. All right. Last night, uh, couldn't get dirt or uh, my race pass to work. Uh, there were two 11 cars in the super stocks, the affordable cars. Don Shaw was actually piloting uh, one of the super stocks. So we will see if he continues in action tonight. We just found out a couple of guys from back home, the Vital Boys, have got their super stocks out here. Looks like we made the right call, by the way, with Superior. You know, we, you know, we frequent Superior, 80 miles away, but um, weather's moving in there fast and furious right, right now. Uh, Probably mentioned that in the pits today, or in the pits a little bit this morning. What this, earlier this afternoon, he said there's a shot of maybe Superior raining out. Hopefully that won't happen, but we'll see. Yeah, radar we, don't look too good. Yeah, radar doesn't look too promising for everyone in Superior. Okay, Brock Grunwald led the, led the most laps last night in the modified feature. Blew it off kind of at the, I don't know, five laps to go after a caution. Uh, we caught up with him. Give everyone the story there. Yeah, he spun out in corner one, two there. We talked to him in his trailer last night. Well, here he ran out of fuel. So it was a fuel pickup issue. He couldn't, uh, he got on the gas to keep the car straight and had no power. So it looped it around and that's why he was kind of limping in the back there. We're thinking, yeah, well, you, what's going on here? Two, why don't you pull it off? Yeah, two laps to go. He was yeah. just kind of circling the track. There were only about a dozen cars left on the track. So it wasn't anyone's way. I thought, why isn't he just pulling off? Well, now we know the issue. Yeah. Um, unfortunate. Uh, yeah, deal unfortunate there. deal there. Like he said, he said, uh, what do you say, a thirty-two, a $3,000 gallon of fuel. So uh, unfortunate. Turn of events for Brock Grunwald last night. All right, a few predictions. So we will see features tonight. B mod supers, mods, lates. Fire away on your B mod prediction. Or with uh, Jory Bird for BO from Grand Forks. He looked pretty sporty last night in that heat. So I'm going with him. All right, I'm going to take 
Deep River, River Falls. Uh, gentleman Aaron Blacklance. Supers. I gotta go with Duelman after Ty. He stayed at the Ooh. hotel here this morning. You know, we talked to him this morning at breakfast for quite a long time. Good kid. He was, uh, I don't know, his car was kind of hoppy there coming out of four in that feature last night, but he said that's just normal. That's just what the track conditions gave him. So I'm going with Duelman. All right, I'm going with Trevor Nelson. He's the only guy that could even get close to Duelman right. last night. All right, like I said, very stout mod field last night. We'll see if that changes at all. Who you got? I got to go TP. That guy's just dominant. Well worth the price of admission to watch that. Whether you like him or hate him, he is fun to watch, so I'm going TPO. All right, you know, it's hard to bet against TPO. I'm going to go with him also. But I'm going to go with that Joe Thomas from Fargo. I was kind of impressed with him. I think he ended up second or third, third last night. Third. Never Sorry, heard of the second or third. Okay, never heard of the guy before that, but that's, it's Corky Thomas's son, right. as we found out. Yep. So my dark horse guy is that Joe Thomas. Uh, he never gave up. Looked pretty sporty. Late models, of course, we're all here for 9920 to start, 9200 to win, 7th Daniel John Sides Memorial. Who are you putting your money on? I'm going TPO again, but Ooh. he's going to have to be patient. 92 laps, a lot can happen, and uh, yeah, I, yeah, it, it's going to be interesting. So it'll be fun to watch. All right, we'll see if he's got the patience. I'm going with the better. I'm going with the guy that's been there before. AG Debo looked just steady. Look, just look comfortable like I said that that corner one and two was so treacherous we were talking with some drivers they said, God, I was just struggling up there I said listen I don't know how much of the races you watch almost everybody was struggling up there I mean the cars that went to the front last night the winners were the few that were not struggling up there and there were only a few and it didn't matter what class we were talking about uh, but Dima looked pretty comfortable he never went up there he just stayed on the bottom which kind of does and uh, so I'm gonna go with the, uh, the veteran AJ Dima take home the 9200 bucks so uh, once again that's our pre-race coverage. We will do post-race coverage. Once again, thank you to Dirt Track Supply. Good luck to Trevor Anderson, and we will catch you all on the video later tonight with the post-race coverage.